Hey guys, Vita's winding to a close, and I realize that I haven't really done much vlogging. Not old school vlogging anyways, I've done a lot of like recording things that I've been doing, but it's not like this. It's been more like daily vlogs because I follow a lot of daily vlogs on YouTube and that's just the content I'm used to. But let's do some old style vlogging. I want to talk about something in video games that has bothered me for quite some time. And no, it's not that all the characters are straight white men. It's when a video game has a DLC that you have to pay for to finish the game. Well, let me start off by saying that I understand DLCs. I get it. You want people to pay for these extra things in games because it's a good way to make money and people will pay for it and that's cool and all. When the DLC is something that doesn't affect the gameplay in any way whatsoever, yeah, I get it. Or if the DLC is something extra that you have to pay for just so like you can have your specific thing, fine. But when a video game ends, I should not have to pay more money for the rest of the game. That's a problem. This has been on my mind a lot lately because I've been playing Final Fantasy VII Remake and it's a great game. I, like, I love it. But Word on the Street is that Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be in three games. That means that at $60 a game, because I assume I'm going to have to pay for all of them to play all of them, is going to cost $180. Also, we don't have a timeline for the next two games of the Final Fantasy VII Remake series, so am I gonna have to buy the next PlayStation to play the rest of the game? That doesn't sit well with me. It's a great way to make money, but it's also really annoying because games can be that long nowadays. Also, my brain just can't help but think, you're selling people an unfinished product. That would be like selling a cake and then giving someone a cake and then charging them extra money for the frosting. This has been my issue with video games for a while. This is why I haven't played a lot of video games in the last few years, because every time I hear about a game, I hear that you need the DLC to finish the game or for the game to be better in some way or another. If I'm paying for a game, I should be paying for a finished product. It shouldn't be any different after a DLC. And it shouldn't be any different if I have more money. That's just some bizarre aspect of gaming that I don't understand. Also, when I finished Kingdom Hearts 3, I knew there would be a secret ending because all of the Kingdom Hearts games have had a secret ending, but it wasn't there. Turns out, like, you have to update the game for the secret ending. It doesn't come on the disc they gave you. What if you don't have internet access? And now there's a DLC for Kingdom Hearts 3, which means that I have to admit that my favorite game in the world has done the thing that I most did not want to happen. Part of the game is stuck behind a paywall. And that makes me really sad. If video game companies want to provide extra stuff to fans who are willing to pay for it, that's fine. But don't sell me an incomplete game. How do you guys feel about video games and downloadable content? Are you willing to pay for it? And more importantly, is the Kingdom Hearts DLC worth it? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys later.